Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a review of the Womb Music Heartbeat Monitor um, that I ordered. It's a fetal Doppler. Um, I bought it when I first became pregnant because I was super worried in between doctor's appointments um, about just the baby in general <laughs> and I wanted something that I could use to check on her all the time and make sure that she was okay and that everything was going according to plan. Um, especially before I could feel her moving around. Right now I'm 31 weeks pregnant and <laughs> I can feel her moving all the time so I don't have to use it as often, but it was really convenient in the beginning um, before that was possible. So I, I remember when I went online looking, when I was trying to decide which one to purchase, um, there weren't very many reviews of this particular one um, or demos really of how it worked. There were like one or two. So I figured I would do one for you guys because it was, um, very affordable. I bought it on Amazon. It was one of the cheaper ones, which made me worry that it wasn't going to work as well, but it actually works really well. I'm very happy with it, um, and I definitely plan to use it in any future pregnancies. So, so first off, this is the box that it comes in. It's a tiny little box. Inside the box, it's basically just the main components. Mine actually came with this like little card for um, music. I think it was something separate. I don't know if it was a promotion that they were doing. Um, but in any event, yours might come with something like that. The instruction manual, and then the actual fetal monitor itself, or fetal Doppler itself. I'll show you how this works in a little bit. A little splitter. Um, this part actually plugs into where you're going to, um, there's a little plug right here, and you can plug that in so that if you want two people to listen to the heartbeat at the same time, then you can do that. So it's like a little audio splitter. Two pairs of separate headphones came with it. It also comes with a little key ring device that, I don't know, I guess if you wanted to carry it around, I'm not sure, I've never used this. It's been in the box the whole time. And then it also comes with a cord that enables you to plug the device into the computer so that you can record the fetal Doppler um, track of your baby's heartbeat on the computer for safekeeping, I guess, for the future if you want to listen back to it. One thing I almost forgot to mention, um, in the box, it also does come with a 9-volt battery. So this little top part here actually slides off. It's just like a little cover, and it comes with a 9-volt battery, so you don't have to like buy it yourself or anything, which is kind of nice. So it, it comes ready to use right out of the box. Now, to use the fetal Doppler, you have to have some kind of um, conductive fluid. Um, I did a lot of searching on product reviews for a bunch of different um, Dopplers and a lot of them recommend buying some kind of like an ultrasound transmission gel. So I bought this off of Amazon, I think it was like $5, it was not very expensive. Um, but I've also read reviews of people saying that you could use coconut oil, you could use um, aloe vera gel, as long as it's not too tinted, I've heard the green ones don't work as well. Um, I haven't tried any of those personally, I just used this stuff and it was easy and it wasn't very expensive so I didn't see a reason not to. Um, but yeah, so this one, the one that I have is uh, actually a blue tinted gel, but it works just fine. So if you want something like that, they are pretty cheap on Amazon as well. So before I show you how the product works, um, some pros and cons that I have personally experienced. Um, first off, some pros. The device is very small, it's handheld. Um, I, I think that it works really well for the for the quality, I guess. It feels kind of light. There's a little adjustment knob for the volume right on front, so that's kind of convenient. As you're scooting it around your belly, you can quickly adjust the volume um, if it's too loud. A little light here lights up green when it's on, so you'll know that it's on. And um, I don't know, It's the adjustable volume is great because you can make it as low or as loud as you want. Um, and making it louder is actually really convenient because when the baby is smaller, I find that sometimes it takes a minute to find the heartbeat and having it up really loud enables you to hear something that otherwise might have been really faint if the volume wasn't adjustable. So I like being able to have it up like all the way. Um, but if it's too loud, obviously, then you can turn it back down. Another pro that I really like about this device is the ability for two people to listen at once. I know there's some monitors where 
um, it's like an audio box and you can actually um, just hear it out loud. It's like a speaker in and of itself. This model is not like that because you have to have the earbuds to go in. Um, but it's nice that you can still have the option to have more than one person listening at the same time. It doesn't, it's not like you have to take turns. Um, some of the cons, there aren't very many for me personally. I know some, when I was doing my own reviews, some people complained that the little jacks where you plug in the, um, the audio cable or the USB cord for recording, some people were complaining that it was too close to the bottom of the device and that some, if you weren't careful, you could get um, like some of the gel inside of it. But personally, I never experienced that problem, so I'm not sure if they were just using like an excessive amount or what. Other cons, um, even though you can have two people listening to it at the same time on the earbuds, uh, the volume can be an issue sometimes. I mentioned that I like to have it all the way up when the baby was really small um, so that you could hear the heartbeat if you were kind of searching for it still. And I found that before the baby was big enough where your you know intestines are pushed out of the way, sometimes there might be um, something over top of the baby where like if you had just eaten and you had the volume all the way up and you were both listening trying to find the heartbeat sometimes you would hear like some intestinal noises and they would be really loud inside your ears to the point that it would make you jump so you almost have to have it not all the way up sometimes if that was the case um, so that was kind of a bit of a, a con for me as far as the earbuds go um, but what I did to combat that was I just made sure that when I checked for the heartbeat it wasn't right after I had a meal so that I didn't have to worry about any kind of tummy noises happening um, in my ears really, really loud. I usually did it sometime in the morning um, while I still had a full bladder or something just to kind of help the baby be lifted up a little bit closer so that the heartbeat was easier to find. But at least there was nothing in my stomach that was in the way um, creating all of that excess noise. Um, a con for some people, I think, might be learning to find what the heartbeat sounds like. Um, I personally did not think it was very difficult to distinguish. Your own heartbeat is, you can tell, it's so much slower when you're listening to it through the Doppler. Um, it's kind of just like a like really slow noise. And the baby's heartbeat is much faster. Some people... Um, some people compare it to like a little bit of like a horse galloping where they've said it sounds like a train on a train tracks, but it's definitely like, it's a lot faster. Um, so it's pretty easy to distinguish as long as you know what you're looking for. One thing about the device that I, I'm not sure if it's a pro or a con really, it depends on your opinion, um, is the fact that it is a very simple device and it doesn't have any kind of a display on it that shows you what the beats per minute is. And I know there are some devices out there that do show the beats per minute. Um, so that could be a con if that's something that you wanted to look at. Um, however, I personally was not worried about counting beats per minute because especially since they vary so widely um, from baby to baby and you know, I, I, I felt like it was one less thing for me to have to focus on um, and think about. So just being able to hear the heartbeat and knowing it was there was enough for me. If you prefer something that has the beats per minute display, then obviously this device might not be the one for you. But um, that's a, a matter of personal opinion. Overall, I just feel like it's a really easy device to use. Um, doesn't really require a lot of specialty knowledge or anything like that. It worked right out of the box for me. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to use the fetal Doppler. Um, first thing you need to do, obviously, is get the device. Um, if you're going to have one person listening, then you only need one pair of headphones. Let me grab some over here. So you'll just need one of them, and you'll plug it right into the audio jack right down here. Um, if you're going to need two people listening, then you'll need to get the splitter part, and you'll plug the splitter into the audio jack like this. And then you'll plug one pair of headphones into one side and another pair of headphones into the other side. Um, what I'm gonna attempt to do uh, for you guys so that you can actually hear what's happening as I'm hearing it um, is I'm gonna just unplug this all together and instead of using earbuds, I'm gonna plug um, the device into a speaker that I have set up down here um, right by the camera. So hopefully you guys will be able to hear it. So we'll see. So I'm going to unplug all of this, but you would want to have at least one pair of headphones in there. 
for yours to work because obviously it does not come with a giant speaker. All right, so plug in whatever you're gonna be listening with. Um, and then to turn it on, you just have to rotate the volume button and you'll actually feel, it'll actually click. So in the light goes on, so you can tell that it's on. Okay, so this would be the on position. Now I told you when the baby is really small, you wanna have it up kind of high um, to be able to hear the baby's heartbeat because it is very faint at first. Um, but when you first get ready to you know, start listening for it, um, the initial movements can be really, really loud in your ears. So I usually leave it down until I've got the gel on my stomach and I'm ready to go. Um, so that's how you get it turned on and ready to use. The part that you actually need to face your stomach is this part right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and get my the gel and everything set up and then we'll go ahead and turn it back on. So you want to do it like really low down on your belly when the baby is small. Um, but and when I say small I mean like early. Like I started doing this at like 9, 10 weeks and I always had to hunt down here for the baby's heartbeat to find it. Um, now that she's bigger I can do it much higher up and it's not um, very difficult to find but in the beginning it can be a little bit of a tr uh, struggle to look for it for a minute or two um, until you find it you might have to like hunt around a little bit um, before you do find it but it is it's always down here in this area so for me it's going to be higher but if you're um, not quite as far along in your pregnancy then you'll you'll do it a little lower down um, okay so let's see if I can get this to work you don't need a whole lot of gel. I mean, if you've gone to any ultrasounds or anything yet, you kind of see how much they use when they do it. Just like a little glob, just enough to be able to move the Doppler, Doppler around. Um, so I'm gonna sit back here. Oops. I'd probably say like, I don't know, a quarter size amount, nothing crazy. All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and turn on the Doppler again using the little volume button. And notice I turned it up. Hopefully you can hear that. It's kind of like a noise. But I'm going to turn it down at first because otherwise it's really loud. So once you have it on your stomach, then you turn the volume up. turn it down before I pull it off my stomach otherwise there's another really loud noise that can kind of blow out your eardrums a little bit on um, the earbuds so one thing you want to have handy I almost forgot to mention this uh, paper towels obviously because you got all this all over your stomach and all over the Doppler um, so I usually have some just kind of sitting nearby ready to clean things up when I'm done listening um, it's pretty easy to clean off I mean it only really gets on this part because like I said, you don't want to use a ton anyway. So just wipe all that off. And as long as you're careful, it does not get inside the audio jack or anything like that, um, like I was telling you earlier. So not really too big of an issue. Um, and that's it. So that's how you use the fetal Doppler on your belly to listen to your baby's heartbeat. As far as recording the heartbeat on your fetal Doppler, um, you, I showed you earlier it came with this little cord for you to attach to the computer. It also attaches to any audio recording device, but it's easily done on a computer. So all you have to do is just plug in this part of it. It's just a little US, micro USB cord. Plug it into the other, not the audio jack, but the other one. Um, so plug that, oh, it upside down. Plug that in there just like that. Um, and then the other end is just a standard audio cable that plugs right into where your earbuds would be on the computer. 
um, I'm pointing because my computer is sitting over here. So you would just plug that into your computer on the other end and then open up something like QuickTime um, and just start a new audio recording and it treats it kind of like a microphone and it just records the audio that it hears coming from the field Doppler. So very, very simple to use. So just a quick word on um, finding the baby's heartbeat. So again, you saw it took me a minute to kind of locate where she was. Um, it definitely was a lot easier than it was in the beginning. I bought the Doppler when I was eight weeks pregnant and um, I was using it a lot back then. Just, it gave me peace of mind um, and it did take me a couple of minutes. I actually couldn't find it um, the first time I used it. And I had read some reviews saying that eight weeks was a little early to be able to even hear the heartbeat. Um, at home to begin with so I was patient and tried to keep that in mind um, and then I did it again about a week later a week and a half later I think it was like nine weeks and three days or something like that um, and I was able to find the baby's heartbeat for the first time and it was so faint um, very quiet almost inaudible even at the highest volume so I just tried to keep that in mind um, as I continued to do it every couple of days and I noticed that over the course of the next couple of weeks it did end up getting stronger and easier to hear and I was able to find it a lot faster um, each time so when you first start they do provide like a little chart in the instruction manual there's a little chart that actually shows you approximately where on your stomach you want to be um, looking for the heartbeat. So like I said earlier down right basically right above your pubic bone is where you want to be looking when it's um, when your pregnancy is still that early on and not till you're you know much further along do you want to be looking around your belly button and even as you saw earlier I'm 31 weeks pregnant and I still had to look right around just at my navel was where I found her heartbeat just now and again it does depend how the baby's positioned of course but um, early on you definitely want to look a lot lower. For anyone that's curious or worried about the safety of the fetal Doppler, um, I've done quite a bit of research on my own just about you know using fetal Dopplers at home and I wanted to err on the side of caution um, so I did make sure that I didn't use it super often even in the beginning when I wanted to be using it all the time I tried to limit myself to every couple days um, sometimes just once a week and Generally, as soon as I found her heartbeat, I turned it off. As soon as I heard it and I knew it was there, I turned it off. Um, some people like to listen to it for longer. I've read all kinds of things where people listen to it every day for minutes at a time and their baby turned out fine. Obviously, I'm not a medical professional and it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, but I, I just used it for peace of mind just every couple days, once a week, and that was enough to keep my mind at ease until I was able to feel her moving around. Overall, I really love this fetal Doppler. Uh, it was one of the best purchases I made early on in my pregnancy. Like I said, it helped me to ease my mind in between doctor's appointments. Um, totally worth the money that I spent, which I think was all of maybe like $55 or something like that on Amazon. So it was, it was really not bad. Some of them can get very expensive. Um, so for the quality of the product and how well it works, I'm very happy with the price that I paid for it. Um, I would highly recommend anybody who was interested in using a fetal Doppler to get this one specifically um, because it works really well and it is portable. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to respond. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this review and if you decide to get one, then good luck learning how to use it and I hope this video was helpful.